Let's mix colors. First we need something to paint on. So let's draw a color wheel. That's simple. I'm going to make a triangle. So I'm just putting the dots for reference. Now how to use a ruler. Make this L sign. That'll help you hold the ruler in two parts. If you're right handed, don't write on the left part of the ruler. Hold the ruler tight and press soft with the pencil. Soft with the pencil, but hold the ruler tight. A lot of people actually do the opposite. They hold the ruler soft, but press very hard. And what happens? The ruler moves. All right, let's finish this up. Now let's do an upside down triangle. Put a dot, two dots parallel to the other dots. Let's make a line connecting those two. Now for reference, let's put a dot right below the line, about there, and connect it to the edges of the uh, line that we just made. Okay, hold the ruler tight, press soft. There we go. Now we have a six point star. Now this is what we call a safety compass. It's gonna help us make the circles all around the corners. Hold the middle, pick a size, and spin. There we go. Let's try another one. That one wasn't so good. Hold the middle, spin. There we go. All right, now that we got that done, let's erase the overlapping. So all inside the circles we're gonna erase. Let's trace with marker so when we paint, everything stays inside the line a lot better. Let's label the primary colors. Primary colors are the most important colors of the color wheel. That's red, yellow, and blue those colors we can make all other colors but we can't make the primary colors it's impossible all right let's start with red there you go this is tempera paint so we don't need water for it to work it's already liquid I always paint with the tip of the brush this comes out better all right let's wash our brush dunk it in water and swirl to dry it use the rim of the bucket never tap it makes a mess all right now that we have a clean brush let's get yellow which is our lightest color start with the edges and then um, once you have the edges done you can fill in the inside like that ready for blue so yeah start with the edges when you run out of paint get more some people think that if they just press harder with the brush more paint is going to come out which is just silly so there we go just fill in the inside there we go let's mix orange we're going to start with uh, yellow and then red yellow because it's lighter you always put the lighter color first when you're mixing. Because the dark one is too powerful. There we go. We're going to put a nice slob of yellow. Uh, then when you put the uh, darker color, which in this case is red, we're just going to put a little bit. Just a little touch there. See? Not as much. Let's swirl it around. That's going to give us a nice uh, orange. Don't worry, we'll get there. There. Alright. Alright, I think we're ready to make the next color. Green. So to make green, green is between yellow and blue. So we're going to put yellow first. And then blue. So yellow first, and then blue. Here we go. some more all 
I don't know about you, but this is so relaxing. All right, let's get a little tiny bit of blue. You can see it's just a little bit. All right, that looks nice. All right, we're ready for the last color. So now it's purple, which is between red and blue. And I'm gonna go with red. Red is lighter, at least in this case. So red first. Let's try to try to get the edges. Okay. All right, now we're ready for the darker color, blue. That's a nice purple. Mm -hmm. Now we're ready for the intermediate colors. Intermediate colors are colors that are between two colors. Yellow and orange will be one. So I'm gonna make a little circle in between those two. Yellow and green. Circle between those two. Green and blue. Circle and on and on and on. That's going to make the intermediate colors. So just like the word implies, intermediate colors are colors that are between two colors. Yellow and orange will be called yellow-orange. So I'll put yellow first, and I'm going to put orange. Makes that nice light orange let's call it just for sakes again yellow first because it's lighter than green and now we're gonna put some green it's gonna make like a light green How about between uh, green and blue which one do you think we should put first well, this one's kind of tricky. If you want it to look more blue-green, you put blue first, and then green. If you want it to make it more green-blue, then you put green first. I want it to look blue-green, like a teal. So I put uh, blue first, then green. How about uh, blue and purple? Definitely blue first. So let's put the blue. And a tinsy bit of purple. I think maybe a little more. Yeah, that kind of looks like, uh, yeah, I like that, like a navy blue. All right, let's finish this up. So, red and purple. Red first. A little bit of purple. And then red, orange. So, orange first and a little bit of red. All right, thanks for watching. Good luck. Bye.